my friend had made a comment about my other videos and saying that I needed a nicer scenery to record videos and um, yeah well now I'm here so maybe this is a nicer scenery here it is yeah so uh, I'm staying in here and I'm sharing this room uh, with one of the other interns. It's just a temporary arrangement. The way it works um, when we're on the road is we're basically staying with other people and so there's five of us here right now. Sorry, there's four of us here right now. Two of the girls are inside the basement suite of these people's house and then uh, the two of us are sleeping in here. So it's pretty cool. It's also kind of a different thing to be vulnerable considering that I don't know where I'm gonna live a week from now um, because once we're here for two weeks we're donezos <laughs> but it's exciting because you get to meet new people and just experience a new way of living for a little bit um, even though if it just means sleeping in a motorhome we drove down here from Calgary six days ago and so it's been officially basically our first week here before we left everyone else at our Calgary office we were able to like hang out with the most of them and we went hiking in this beautiful hike in the mountains and yeah those mountains were great but nothing compares to the drive to BC and so far, um, since we've been here, we've held a social event to gather all the pro-lifers in the Vancouver area. And it was really cool because my colleague and I, Ruby, were able to lead it. We made a promotional video. I'm Deirdre. And I'm Ruby. And we're both community support interns with the Canadian Centre for Bioethical Reform this summer. A real mouthful, huh? and we were able to like organize the event and I put together a few games that we could play to get like people together kind of like icebreakers but more like team building kind of stuff so it was a lot of fun and I have like this really funny clip from when we were playing this game where you have to hold like a coin behind your back and then other people are trying to take the coin from your hand it was just wild <laughs> just... No. Oh, I almost dropped my coin why are you <laughs> no. guys someone get Attila He's like by the food. I dropped it. Where did it go? Found it. Yeah, here you go. Wait, do, do I give it back to him or? If you picked it up, it's yours. Oh, sweet. Sorry, <laughs> I guess being a drama major really does pay off in real life. We had a lot of fun. We got to meet lots of people. We even went out to Boston Pizzas afterward and like it was pretty late night. Um, but we got home and the news had just come in that Ireland had voted to change their Eighth Amendment. And so that was a real like sudden, like a sober awakening, I feel like. My roommate had just told me when I came into the house that the results had come in that evening and we kind of just stared at each other and like, I didn't know what to do. Like, I just, I didn't know what would have happened if it did, if it was voted, but and it affected me way more than I thought it would have. Like I cried, like I was so upset that just to think that so many children will now not ever be able to experience life the way that everyone else because their lives would be taken away from them. And to think that Ireland is going to be completely vulnerable and it might be a similar situation to the way Canada is. When our abortion laws got knocked down, all of the other proposals for bills had been knocked down as well. So that's how we don't have any laws. And it's kind of sketchy as to how I Ireland is going to turn out now because it's still up in the air of whether or not those laws are actually going to pass. But it was a reminder that we can't stop what we're doing here, that we need to fight for these other children. And I just want to end on a happy note, so I'm going to tell a story about something that happened yesterday while I was doing activism. These two young girls came up to me and I asked them what they thought about abortion and the young girl came up and she said, oh no, I don't agree with it. And she said, yeah, because it's a life inside of her and she can't be able to and the life of that child because it's still a baby. And so I thought that was really cool. And then she even told me I'm actually pregnant right now. And this girl was maybe 16 or 17, like really young girl. I congratulated her and, and we talked about how we should be empowering women instead of telling them that they need to turn to abortion. We agreed that the stigma should be ended that young girls can't be pregnant because of school or because of work or because of other what people think. Let's be real, it's 2018. It's time to end the stigma of being pregnant. Pregnant. And it was so inspiring to hear how a young, brave woman was willing to do the right thing by her child. So that's just a wrap up of what this first week in Vancouver has been like. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for next week. Peace out. I like this aesthetic though. It's like I'm living in a van, like living on the road.